In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the internal camera units from F-Stop, specifically the shallow and small version. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we do travel gear reviews like this all the time. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Nathan, our video editor and contributor, has been using this thing now for a couple months, and he's gonna walk us through and share his findings with us, so I'm excited to get into it. Let's jump in. F-Stop are the perfect example of a company that focus on doing one thing really well, and that one thing is carry solutions for camera gear. They offer an urban series for daily carry, a mountain and ultralight series for traveling, and a wide range of internal camera units that are designed to organize, protect, and store all of your camera equipment inside your pack. We've been testing the small, shallow size of F-Stop's ICU, which stands for Internal Camera Unit, for the last three months. It's accompanied us on trips to Spain and Belgium and whenever we've had our camera gear out and about with us. These ICUs are engineered to function seamlessly with F-Stop's Mountain Series packs. But the great thing is you don't need one of F-Stop's bags to utilize these things. They can turn any bag into a camera bag just by dropping one of these things in. This idea of course got us really excited. Can you really turn any bag into a camera bag with one of these things? Let's find out. The F-Stop ICU features a sleek, minimal design. It's really just a box, but a great looking box at that. F-Stop only offer one color across all of their ICU range, which is, unsurprisingly, black. They also offer the ICU in various sizes, ranging from a Micro Nano, which is perfect for small mirrorless cameras, to a Cine Master that will hold everything but the kitchen sink. It's safe to assume that no matter how much camera gear you have, F-Stop will have you covered. The small shallow ICU that we've been testing is 11 and a half inches in width, eight inches in height, and five inches in depth. And we found this to be a perfect size for one bag travel. The ICU features a tough, weather resistant ripstop nylon on the outside, high density crosslink foam padding with a brushed polyester lining on the inside, and heavy duty industrial cross stitching. Basically, it's made of some pretty great materials, and F-Stop have put a lot of thought into how they've put this thing together. And at only 0.71 pounds when empty, it's also incredibly lightweight. The first thing you'll notice on the outside of the F-Stop ICU is the top handle. This thing will come in really handy when you're grabbing it out of a bag. It's nothing fancy, but it does the job really well. The top handle also features metal D-rings on either side for you to attach a shoulder strap to, creating a messenger bag style carry. This is a great feature if you ever want to take the ICU out on its own as opposed to having it in another bag. It's not something we would do a lot, but it's nice to have the option. Just below the metal D-rings, you'll find a couple of Velcro tabs. These are here to attach the ICU to F-Stop's Mountain Series packs. If you have one of these, then great. If not, they're pretty much rendered useless. We weren't overly upset by this though, as you don't really notice them. The zip that opens the main enclosure is a nice chunky YKK 8RCZ, ensuring reliability and a smooth opening. The plastic tabs on the zipper pulls are a nice touch too, making them easy to find and grab a hold of. Open up the F-Stop ICU and you will find five foam dividers. Four short and one longer one. And the idea here is to organize these in a configuration that best suits all of your camera gear. It can get a little bit tricky trying to figure out the best place to put everything in, but with the five foam dividers, every configuration is pretty much possible. So it'll take a little while, but once you crack it, you're good to go. The configuration we came up with for our needs actually involved taking two of the small dividers out. We were able to fit everything you would need for a day out shooting, which ended up being a DSLR, two lenses, spare batteries, shotgun mic, lavalier mic, mini tripod, and a small LED light. A pretty solid kit for a relatively small unit. One thing we've been very impressed with is how well the Velcro secures the dividers to the brushed polyester material. It can actually be quite tough to remove the Velcro at times. These things are seriously grippy. This all adds to how well built and well designed this thing is. You do pay premium prices for F-Stop gear, 
but they return the favour by delivering you a premium product, something here at Pack Hacker we're always on the lookout for. The small shallow ICU also comes with two Velcro elastic straps that are designed to secure items within the dividers. They're a nice touch, but honestly we just don't think they're needed. When packed well enough, items inside of this thing fit really well and quite tightly. Maybe they would work better when you've got heavier items in the larger ICUs, but for our small shallow one we just don't think they're necessary. One last little touch that F-Stop have done is include a removable foam insert in the top part of the unit. This foam sheet adds additional protection when used for storage and transport and can be removed to save space if needed. We've never actually taken ours out. Honestly, it doesn't really add that much bulk and when you've got expensive camera equipment inside, who doesn't want more protection? We do think that this could have been executed just a little bit better though. Sometimes when you open it up, the foam insert can slide out a little bit. We'd like to have seen maybe a zip here. Maybe that would have fixed the issue. It's not a huge gripe, but it's a little bit annoying. We've been testing the F-Stop Small Shallow ICU for around three months now, and it's held up really well. You can tell it's clearly built to last. It's also done a solid job of protecting our camera gear. The dividers secure everything tightly so nothing moves around, and the high density foam puts our mind at ease knowing our gear is safe in the pack. One downside to this thing is that if you've got it in a bag, there's really no quick access feature. You've got to open the bag up first, take this thing out, undo this thing, and then get the camera out to take the shot. But quite frankly, the durability and added organisation that this thing brings to just your standard backpack heavily outweigh any of the cons. The best thing about this F-Stop ICU is undoubtedly its versatility. You can put this thing in a 40 litre travel bag, in a 15-20 litre day pack, you can have it on its own or you can use it for storage around the house. Our camera gear now only leaves this thing when it's actually in use. Now onto some pros. The configuration possibilities are endless. It's got great durability with top-notch materials. And this thing will turn any bag into a camera bag. Onto some cons, it's not ideal for quick access. The foam insert can slip out occasionally and the Velcro straps are a bit useless. The F-Stop ICU does a great job at organizing and protecting your camera equipment while out on the road. And with the capability of transforming any pack into a camera bag, this has become an essential piece of kit that comes along with us whenever we leave the house with a camera. We found the small shallow ICU to be perfect for one bag travel, but F-Stop does have you covered with their full range of sizes if you need anything in particular. The heavy duty industrial cross stitching and weather resistant ripstop nylon ensure that this thing is built to last. If you're after a camera carrying solution, the versatility, durability and added organization that the F-Stop ICU provides is too good to pass up. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the F-Stop ICU. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter, sign up for that newsletter and never miss an update. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you in the next video. Never missing, never missing an update. That's a wrap.